My name is Muriel Lewis and I live in Haberley. <laughs> Wild Edric is supposedly to come out as a foreteller of war in the 14, uh, 1914, 1939 war. It's well documented by several people that they have seen Wild Edric. He's always in the lead of his men with God arriving at the side of him, followed by the rest of his band. Preceding them are hounds, black hounds with fiery eyes. The number of hounds seen is the length of time the war will take. He's also said to be, the ghost of Edric is supposed to be a black hound with fiery eyes that foretells death. It was, in fact, he was a very powerful man, a very charismatic man, but he was also could be quite cruel. Um, although most of his land were laid to waste by the Mortimers at, from Clebury Mortimer, um, they never caught up with him without suffering heavy losses. He was quite um, vicious in battle and he gave no quarter. I don't suppose he expected any either, but he gave no quarter. He was also allied to the Welsh, whom he got on very well with. Um, King Blethyn being the um, closest to him. He was the last king of Wales um, in this time. Um, his uncle was the son-in-law of King Ethelred the Unready. There was a large family of them. They were a poor family. The King's Hunting Lodge was situated at Marsetley in the Doomsday Book, now known as Marsley. It's um, on a knoll, and it would have been a fortified house in those days, where the King was um, used as a hunting lodge. He had to be protected by 38 armed guards from Shrewsbury. The Burgesses of Shrewsbury had to furnish those because of his son-in-law's nasty ways in the area. There is a road leading from Marsley between the two vessels, upper and lower vessels, that take you straight onto the Stiper Stones, which were the King's Hunting Forests. They used to be known as Hogstow Forest or Huckstow Forest.